Hi, welcome to another session of Circuits and Networks. I am Ravikant Malajoshira, and in today's class, under single phase AC circuits, we are going to deal with the problems involved in RL circuit. This we are treating as class 3 under single phase AC circuit of RL and RC network problems. And this we are again reframed as choke coil problems. So, what are these choke coil problems? For example, a 230 volts 50 hertz supply makes an RMS current of 3 amperes to flow through a non inductive resistance in series with a choke coil. What does this mean? A voltage is applied which makes a current to flow through a series combination of resistance in series with a choke coil. So, what are the other parameters given? The voltage measured across the non inductive resistance and the choke coil are 140 volts and 160 volts respectively. Estimate the choke coil parameters and the series non inductive resistance and the power drawn by the coil. So, this is, uh, this is a certain problem which is often asked in different competitive exams as well as in our regular semester exams. So, how to understand this problem? It's a single circuit where you have a voltage source, you have a choke coil, a choke coil is supposed to have a resistance in series with the inductor. So, this resembles a choke coil. Now, this is in series with resistance. Now, this choke coil is in series with resistance and this resistance is called as non-inductive resistance. Okay. So, the parameters of choke coil are internal resistance along with the inductive reactance of the choke coil. So, what are the things which are given? Are 230 volts with 50 hertz frequency is given and the voltage across the choke coil is given and the voltage across the resistance is given. So, we are going to reframe this circuit where the voltage which is input supply given as 230 volts with 50 hertz and the current is 3 amperes. The voltage across the coil is 160 volts. You can see in this previous slide. The choke coil has 160 volts of voltage and the resistance which is non-inductive it has voltage drop of 140 volts. So, that is what we have taken here. The coil voltage is 160 volts and the resistance voltage is 140 volts. So, these values are taken according to the given problem. So, let us calculate the resistance because we know the voltage across resistance and it is a series circuit. So, current remains the same. So, we are going to apply 140 divided by 3. 3 is the series current. So, this gives you the value of resistance to be 46.66 ohms. So, we have estimated the value of resistance which is also called as non-inductive resistance. Now, let us calculate the impedance of the choke coil. The impedance of the choke coil is supposed to have the internal resistance as well as the inductive reactance. So, the voltage which is measured across this particular coil is given as 160 volts and since it is a series current we are going to apply the same current across this coil. This will give you the value of impedance as 53.33 ohms. Now we have obtained the impedance in terms of ohms as well as resistance in terms of ohms. Then we know that the coil is composed of the real component as well as the reactive components. So, technically, when you are going to take the magnitude of the coil in terms of impedance, it is going to be obtained as under root of resistance square plus inductive reactance square. So, just substitute the values. We are going to get the value to be 53.33 ohms. In fact, we don't know what exactly is the value of R and exactly value of inductive reactance and this is what we need to estimate. So, what we have framed the value of impedance according to the given problem as 53.33 ohms. In fact, that is 
substituted in the magnitude form and it is make equivalent to 53.33 ohms. I am going to square on the both sides of this above equation and I am going to reframe this equation as equation 1. 53.33 square will give you the value as 2844.09. So this is the value of the square term of 53.33 ohms. Now we have framed one equation according to the given data. Now let us calculate the impedance of the entire circuit. Impedance of the entire circuit, it is supplied voltage is 230 volts and the current it is in series that's why the same current which will give you the value of total impedance of the network as 76.66 ohms now this impedance is quite different from the coil impedance the coil impedance we got as 53.33 ohms because we have measured across the voltage of the coil and we have divided by the series current so this has given the value as 53.33 ohms and the circuit impedance the value is obtained as 76.66 ohms now if at all you look at the circuit in this circuit r is the internal resistance of the coil xl is the inductive reactant of the coil now total impedance if at all you want to estimate you have to take the real component which is r and smaller and the imaginary component that is jxl and if at all you want to take the magnitude value the magnitude value will be z is equal to under root of the real component that is r plus small r whole square plus xl square i hope you under, understood this step now that is equivalent to 76.66 ohms let us apply squaring on both sides and reframe this equation as equation 2 which will give you the value as r plus r square plus xl square is equal to the square term of 76.66 will give you as 5876.76. So this is the numerical value of the square term of 76.66. Now we have equation 1 and 2. Let us solve equation 1 and 2 which will give you the value of smaller because the R it is known we have estimated as 46.66 this xl xl term goes off and you have small r square which has been elaborated according to the a plus b whole square formula so those two terms will go off and we are going to left over with r square plus 2 capital r smaller the capital r value is 46.66 we need to find out the value of small r so the smaller value it is obtained as 9.167 ohms now let us treat this equation as 3. Now from the above derivations or equations, we have estimated the values of the capital R, the capital Z, the impedance of the coil and the internal resistance of the coil. With these parameters, let us estimate the inductive reactance. So since we have R square plus XL square is equal to 2844.09 what is this value this value we can check that we got from the coil impedance coil that is r square plus xl square is equal to 53.33 square which has given the value as 2844.09 value so this value it is being reframed and we got the value of Excel because we have substituted the value of small r which we recently got as 9.167 squaring of this term and it is going to get diminished with the actual magnitude which will give you the value of x l square which is equal to 2760.05 nothing but 2760.05 that is the value of ohms so we need to obtain the actual value of inductive reactance as 52.54 ohms so this is how we estimate the coil parameters once we are able to obtain the inductive reactance this inductive reactance is equal to omega l omega is equal to 2 pi f 
into L. Therefore, I can easily find out the value of inductance. Inductance is equal to XL by 2 pi F. So, 52.54 divided by 2 pi into 50 will give you the value of inductor as 0 0.167 Henry's. So, this is how we estimate the choke coil parameters. Once we obtain the value of choke coil parameters, we can easily obtain the power consumed by the choke coil. The power consumed by the choke coil depends upon the real component but not the reactance component. What is the current? Current is 3 square terms the resistance. The internal resistance of the choke coil is obtained to be 9.167. So we are going to substitute the values and easily we can obtain the value of power developed in the choke coil to be 82.503 watts. So this is how the choke coil parameters are estimated for the given problem. Let us go with another example. A choke coil is connected in series with 50 ohm resistor. This series circuit is deriving 3 amperes of current when applied across 240 volts 50 year supply. Again, the values of current and voltages are given. In fact, the non inductive resistance, which is 50 ohms, is also given. What we need to find? The current through the circuit lacks its voltage by 36 degrees. It's an additional information given to the problem. The voltage is leading current by 36 degrees because it's a series RL circuit. So, in an inductor, we have understood that the voltage will lead the current. So, what we need to calculate the resistance and inductor of the coil as well as the power consumed by them. So, let us estimate the impedance of the circuit. Impedance is given by 240 by 3, that is the voltage by current, which is 80 ohms. In magnitude form, you can take 80 as the magnitude of the impedance, and it is given that the current lacks voltage by 36 degrees. So, the value of phase angle is 36 degrees. Just convert this polar form to rectangular form with the help of your calculator or you can do it mathematically by taking the values of tan inverse y by x. You can do that or you can take the help of your calculator to convert polar to rectangular and rectangular to polar. So, this polar value can be changed to rectangular value as 64.72 plus 47.02 J ohms. Now, this is the XL value and this is the real value. With this, we have to understood that the circuit impedance is composed of the non-inductive resistance plus the inductive resistance of the choke coil. So, R plus R is nothing but 64.72 and we know that the value of R, it is given as 50. When R is given as 50 and the total real component value is obtained to be 64.72, with this we can obtain the internal resistance of the choke coil to be 14.72 ohms. I hope you understand the step. We have just estimated the internal resistance of the circuit from the given parameters. Let us focus on inductive reactance. It is obtained to be 47.02 ohms. Now, with this, I can get the value of inductance of the choke coil, which is nothing but 47.02 divided by 2 pi f. And fortunately, the same frequency is being applied in the Indian circuit analysis. So, this is 2 pi into 50, which will give you the value of inductance to be 0 0.1459 Henry's. In some text, you can find out the value of inductor to be 0. 1.5 Henry's. Both are correct values. Now, once the value of the impedance as well as the internal resistance are estimated for the choke coil, we can easily obtain the value of power, which is equal to I square R. So, 3 square internal resistance is 64.72, which will give you the value as 582.48 watts. If at all you want to obtain the coil power, now this is the total power of the circuit. The coil power will be obtained as I square R. 
So it is 3 square times of 14.72. Here it should be in the above uh, formula, it should be R plus R, capital R plus R. This is a small mistake made over here. Please make a correction. P is equal to, that is the power consumed by the entire circuit, which is equal to I square capital R plus small r. The capital R plus small r value is 64.72. Is this clear? Fine. Whereas the power for the coil is calculated as I square small r because it's a coil. Coil resistance is 14.72. So this power will be less than the actual power. So 132.48 watts. And then you have the non-inductive resistance whose value of power is I square capital R. So I square capital R is given as 3 square times 50. 50 is the actual resistance of the resistance which is connected in series with the choke. That is non-inductive value which is 50 ohms. So this is nothing but 450 watts. Now if at all you, you want to estimate the total power, it is the power which is consumed in the coil as well as the non-inductive resistance. So 132.48 plus 450 will give you the total power of the circuit. So this is how you cross check the result. I hope you understand what I am trying to say. Here, the total power of the circuit formula is given as I square times capital R plus small r. So the capital R plus term is missing here. Please make a correction. So overall the power of the circuit is 582.48 watts and that power is being equally divided into the coil as well as the non-inductive resistance. So this is how we solve the choke coil problems. Let us go with the simple problem. A 240 volts 60 hertz supply is connected to a coil which draws a current of 2.5 amperes. Okay, again the voltage, frequency and current values are given. The coil consumes a power of 550 watts. The power consumed by the coil is also given. Find the current drawn by the coil if the frequency is reduced to 50 hertz. So the previous frequency is 60 and it is being reduced to 50. So if this transmission is done, what will be the effect of current in the entire circuit is the problem. So let us calculate the impedance of the circuit, which is nothing but V by I. So 240 divided by 2.5 will give you the value of impedance of the circuit as 96 ohms. Now we are calculating the power of the non-inductive resistance, which is I square capital R. So this power is nothing but 550 watts. It is given 550 watts, 2.5 square terms of R. Now this power is actually the power consumed by the coil because we are interested in the coil. It is not the circuit power, it is the coil power. And the small mistake has been arised here. Please cross check this. So it is the power of the coil consumed which is given as 550 watts. The current is 2.5 amperes square terms the internal resistance of the coil. So this you can estimate to be as 88 point, uh, sorry, 88 ohms. Now that is the internal resistance of the coil. Once you obtain the value of internal resistance, calculate the inductive reactance. So from impedance triangle, what we have discussed from our previous classes, which is equal to under root of Z square minus R square. So Z is 96 and R is 88. Just substitute the value, we are going to get the inductive reactance to be 38.36 ohms. Once we get obtain the value of inductive reactance, we can easily obtain the value of inductor of the circuit. So inductance is equal to 38.36 divided by 2 pi into 60 because the previous frequency is 60. So we are substituting the value of inductor under frequency of 60 and it is obtained to be 0 0.1017 henrys. Now this is the value of inductance. Now what we need to find out, we need to find out the value of current drawn by the coil if the frequency is reduced to 50. So the frequency is reduced from 60 to 50. So estimate for the inductive reactance that is 2 pi into the change value of frequency with the same inductance that is 0 0.1017. With this I am going to get the value of inductive reactance to be 31.96 ohms. Compared to the inductive reactance of the previous value since the frequency is reduced, naturally the inductive reactance 
it also gets reduced. Is this clear? Now let us calculate the new impedance value of the circuit. Because the frequency is reduced, so we have to estimate the new impedance value. So the new impedance value of the coil is R square plus X L nu square. Just we have reframed the formula. With this, you are going to get the value of new impedance to be 93.62 ohms. Just substitute the value of new impedance to obtain the value of the latest current. So I is equal to V by new impedance, which is equal to 240 divided by 93.62 ohms. This will give you the value of the current, which is 2.56 amperes. Now you can check from the previous note that the current is 2.5 amperes and the latest current to be 2.56 amperes. So this is change in the value of current with the change value of impedance. So I hope you understood these classes under the choke coil. So we are treating this particular video as the basic problems involved with RL circuit, especially the choke coil problems. Hoping that you are liking this video as well as you are understanding the concepts. Please share this data among your friends and subscribe to my channel as well as please press the bell icon for the future notification.